Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. And the belt up. That's spot on perfect. There, right. Steel ingot. This is the only recipe that I've got. So then I want to drop in all of that, and I want to drop in all of that as well. We're now producing steel ingots. Two steel ingots. We're producing 30 per minute. So we can overclock this, or we could do something else with it. The coal is coming in. Hopefully the coal will all run in absolutely fine and we won't have any issues with it. Next thing I need to do is I want to put storage out on this side so that we make sure that we've got plenty of steel coming out. I may end up doing this so that we have two of these side by side. If we've got, if, if we've got mining drills and stuff fast enough for it, we will have two of them side by side. Go organization and put a storage container. But for now, let's keep it simple and we will put a storage container encroaching another's clearance. Uh, yeah, I'll just drop that one down there like that and I will. Wait. Well, that's no good. Remove that. That's no good at all. I need that storage container to go in the right spot. That right spot is there. That's better. Right, let's dump you down there. So it's coming in a straight, it wants to be in a straight line out of this, doesn't it? There, right. That's going to go into there. That's now throwing out uh, 30 steel ingots per minute. We've got 45 ores coming in and we've got 30 being made. The conveyor belt that we're using what is that one uh, logistics conveyor belt 60 resources per minute so is that it is moving out of here yes it is it's moving out faster than it's being made and it's coming through here at a, a reasonable rate of knots and then we'll be able to start using the steel and we will upgrade that one to a minor mark 2 which means that we'll be able to have more of these and already I've got a shortage of coal, which is going to be our next big thing. So I can't actually follow that belt and go up over it. So if I go running up here, how fast is it like using up? Oh, I see. Right. It's using up the coal every now and then. And that's um, this just putting little gaps into it. So that's putting those gaps into it over here. Currently, the coal is absolutely fine. We've got no issues with that. We've got more... There are more coal seams, so we can go and get more coal. I could upgrade this to Mark II belt, couldn't I? So, like, if I go... No, not foundation. Uh, seven. If I go here to a Mark II belt, that's, um, that'll upgrade it. I don't know how many it's going to want to use to upgrade. We'd have to go a long way to upgrade the whole system. Um, I kind of like the idea of setting up a vehicle system next. Kind of like that being our next major project. I mean, I've got this working over here, and we are going to want to do some more assemblers and stuff over here so that we can build these other bits. Let's go and bounce. Hang on. Is this actually filling in everything? Uh, are we filling up with coal? Or am I... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be waiting on coal fairly soon on this. The one smelter at the moment will be fine. We don't need to worry about that. So, that right there, that steel pipe is straight steel to steel pipe. That's a really, really easy one to make. And steel beams right there, again, it's another straight steel to steel beams. Then encased industrial beams and stators, though actually that's steel pipes, that's just another bit, and then we've got the the other bits over there. That that's that's all being produced and that's running into here. We've got no issues with that. Let's see how this is doing actually. See that's filling up very, very nicely over there. This one's filling up very, very nicely as well. We've got no issues here. We're not waiting on anything. About the only thing maybe that we would want to do is um, increase the clock speed of 
that one right there. But it's not something I'm going to worry about right now. I think my next thing that I want to do is I want to bring out a conveyor belt out to here. Right? That out at a right angle like that. So we've got that corner that's just going to come out like that. So that we've now got the steel. It's out here and it's ready to start producing. Then I want to go in and we're going to production and we're going to a simple constructor first. I got two items that I want to build with constructors. And these two items, let's just get out of that a second. Um, I want to look in here. So yeah, we've got steel beams with constructor and steel pipe with a constructor. Then I want that. I need the pipes to be over the other side. This this is where it all starts to get like much more complicated. A lot more complicated. Being 3D, it does make this a whole lot more complicated than our Factorio series. Uh, let's right steel beam and steel pipe we want to be producing both of those that's this kind of that is the next thing that we want to be doing so let me head up here like this and i'll jump over onto here and i'm going to get up onto here one way or another apparently i'm not okay fine we'll do we'll, we'll do it this way then I'll go up onto here, and I'll go over onto here, and I will go up onto here. There we go. Now I've got my planning. Uh, we want to build two constructors to start with. So we need infeed going that way, and we want to have the belts back a little bit. So I'm going to put one now. I want to allow for some more of those. So if I put the constructor up here, like that, and I'll put another one up there. I'll put one right there, like that. And then I'll put another one next to it, which is going to go... That's, gonna, that's about as close to it as... Well, it's as it's, it's close as I can get to it without seriously changing everything. I can do it like this though. I can just jump down and go a little bit, you know, a little bit closer like that. Right. I'll put that one right there like that. This will allow me to put actually it won't allow me to put an assembler down next to it so it doesn't really matter. I didn't need to be particularly careful about anything except that I think I do no. It's, it's literally just these two that I want out of here isn't it? Pretty sure it's just these two. Let me go back over this way and have another look. Pretty sure it's just those two. I need steel to go into there, steel to go into there. That, I take the steel beams. Yes, so it is only those two that are going to be taking up. But if I do it like this, if I need to put more of them down, I can put more of them down later on. Which I'm thinking is probably a good thing. Okay, so I would go... I want to put a splitter onto this one. There's the splitter onto there, uh, that one will go like that, there like that, so then you will go over this way and you can just pop into there like that, and then you can go into that one, and you can go into that one. It's not all exactly lined up as perfectly as I wanted it to be. Uh, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, we will put the steel beam on this side. And we will put the steel pipe over on this side. So we've got steel beam coming out of there. And we've got steel pipe coming out of there. So then off of this end over here, I want to have some more of these on storage containers. We put a storage container on the end of each one of these. So turn you around like that, and I'll make sure that that storage container does actually fit. I'm going to go there. And then you will come over this side, and I'll do another one. Right, let's try and get them both lined up, which is there. 
And then we can take a belt and we can go boom, boom, like that. And we can go boom, boom, like that as well. So there's those, there's, that's all lined up now and ready to roll. I just need to put some power onto it all. I can't get up there. All right, I'll go up this way. Right. Come up onto there. Jump over onto this side. I'll put a power pole down into the middle, I think. So I take, uh, nope, uh, power line. I put a power pole over to there. And I'll take power off of that one and put it onto here. I'll take power off and I'll put it onto there like that. So I've now got those two running. If you look in here, we've got three steel ingots, 30 per minute coming in. Well, this is what we need coming in, ideally. And then we've got 10 steel beams going out per minute. And then over that side, I've got... 15 per minute coming in and 15 per minute going out. So there's 45 per minute, which is actually, I think, what this one produces. 30 per minute. Right, so we actually want that to go faster if we want these two to run flat out. Not that it really matters. So once I've done that bit, we've then got the next bit back in the line, which is... What is the next bit in the line? Um... I've got, well, there's a couple things that are next in line. We've got encased industrial beams, which take the standard industrial beams, add concrete to them, and then they make the encased ones. The stator right there takes pipes and wire and drops that together. Now, the pipes and the wire bit, we'll, we'll, we'll actually build that bit, but I'm not going to worry about the next one. So I've got wire over here on this one right here. This, this has got wire. I've got more wire than I know what to do with but I've got wire coming out up here before we even get to that, right? And that's the bit that I'm going to use. Rather than using up this bit, I'm going to take the wire off of here. I've got these two. I want to move those. So first up, let's just move these. Bye-bye and bye-bye. Right, and then I will go for a power pole. Um, we'll put two power poles close to each other. I'm going to put three of them close to each other like that. I'm not quite sure how these were positioned. You cannot get from those splitters up on top of these, and, and that's kind of what you need to do. Uh, which way did I have this going? I had one coming from up there, didn't I? We had a power line coming from up there. So I'll put that one down there into the middle, and that one will go to you, and I'll have one going to you. Then that one right there will go over onto that one. Uh, that one there will run onto there. Can't connect any more power lines to that one. And then you will run onto this one, and you will... Wait, what? There. Run onto that one as well. So I've now got power going all the way through. Right. So there's all the power coming through, which I wanted. And then I've got a splitter right here, which is going to give me some more wires. And I've got stuff coming off of here. What I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to remove that. Aren't I? Hmm... Yes, I am. I'm going to remove both of those because I want them in different places. So we'll take both of those out and we'll go back into our organization. We will take our storage container and I'm going to go over this way. Up we go. Like that. And I'm going to put a storage container. It's going to move down that way a little bit. Right, I need to remove that belt that's coming out of there. That conveyor belt can come out, and that one can come out as well. So then I can go back to the storage container. There, that's better. Right. I'm going to move it down there, just so that it's a little bit apart from what it is right now. And that one as well, so that I've got the two of them joined together. Uh, not joined together, but... There's, like, sufficient gap between them that I can put some extra bits in, should I want to. I'm going to want to. And I drop that one into there. So next, I then take a 
a a a a, a split uh, not a merger no i want a splitter i want that one right there and that one's just gonna pop onto there like that and i'm gonna take a belt no i'm not it's not the next thing that i want to take i want to take production and i want to have an assembler i'm gonna put that one in line with those over there and we're gonna drop an assembler in there like that and then I'm going to take the conveyor belt out of here. I'm going to drop one into there. I'm going to take conveyor belt out of there. Wait, what? We mean encroaching another's clearance. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a merger. This one here is a merge, not not a not not a split. I I I don't I don't want this one. This is this is no good to me. I need I need this to be done differently. Right. Remember, you can't climb up there. Fine. Now I will climb up this side, there, and I will jump back over here. Right. So I've got the merger. I'm going to need to do a splitter right there in front of it. Then. Actually, I'm. I should just be standing on top of here. So I'm going to do that. I can go. I can actually go that close to it. Right, so the, the two of them are right one on top of the other. That does actually work. It does surprise me that that works, but it's pretty cool that it does. Encroaching another's clearance. Because it's so close together, I've, I've done that too close together. Right. Let's remove you. Conveyor splitter. Let's try that again, but we will... Have a little bit of noticeable gap between the two, and hopefully that will work. There we go. Right. Now I've got them. Now they're working. That's coming through there. It's splitting the two. There's a little tiny bit of a gap there between them. That's fine. And then we can go here, and we can uh, do this one. We want a stator in there. So I need three steel pipe and ten wire to be able to make that one. So I will just come up here onto this one and what are we wanting? I'm wanting power, which is going to be that one. Power goes off of there, so I go power line off of you and put it onto there, so it goes up onto there like that. And now I'm waiting on the wire coming in here. So I want that wire coming in there. I've got these bits of wire coming through. Wire is actually going through flat out that is one of one there all right i don't have anything i don't have anything backed up i don't have it stacked up anywhere the only thing that is backed up on here at the moment is this one that's got a hundred copper ore so ideally now i think we want to overclock that one there i've got the entire system here is all run through i've got steel pipes being made in there I've got all of the other bits being made. And then we've got stators in here. These are also being made. And I'm going to put a one of these organization. We're going to put a storage container out on the end. Can't afford. Ah, okay. We're not going to put a storage container on it just yet. We will do. We'll get back to that. Uh, but we've got that one being made as well. So we've got literally everything now all being put together and being built. We've got our full steel outfit now. That's going all the way through. We're waiting a little bit on the copper wire coming in by the look of it. Actually, we're not waiting on the copper wire coming in. Yes, we are. All right, it goes eight, nine... 10 now it's going i see right it doesn't actually use it up until this one is finished producing so we are waiting on the copper wire coming in in order to have this going properly but eventually that one will fill up with copper wire or you know, well, that one will eventually fill up which is going to give us more stuff coming in through here um, and more and more and more and more and there we go so we are now producing steel this is absolutely fantastic Making some wonderful progress. Right, well, so far we've got this being made. 
The coal is slowing down a little bit. It's sort of... It's, it's not even... Like, we're not using it up as fast as we could over on that one over there. So we're going to want to increase coal production so that we can increase all other production. Um... We've got two options for that. We can either go out to the coal field and we can overclock the uh, coal miner that we've got out there. Or we could replace it with a level 2 coal miner. And then also upgrade the conveyor belts coming all the way back from there. I think I'd like to do that first. The other one is, well, I want a vehicle station. I do also want to get a vehicle station. We've got vehicles right here. We've got a truck station and we've got a tractor. 25 slot inventory is built in craft bench. Can be automated to pick up and deliver resources at truck stations. Nicknamed the sugar cube. So we could make that one and then this one right here. Either send or receive resources to vehicles as an inventory of 48 slot. Transfers up to 120 stacks per minute to from docked vehicles. Always refuels vehicles. If it has access to a matching fuel type. So we could also make a truck station. And I would set that one up near another coal mine. Rather than the one that we've got at the moment. And looking. We don't currently have the scanner. Oh wait a minute. We want to bring that one up like that. Let's go there. And just scan for coal a minute. That's the the other ones there. I don't want to scan for them. Right, coal. 600 meters that way is the one that we're using. And then we've got a coal mine over that way. And we've got a coal mine a kilometer away over that way. So we're using that one over there. And then we've got another one that is that direction, 760 meters. So if we're going to set one up with a vehicle, I'd like it to be over there. But I'd also like to get that one overclocked. Well, not overclocked. I'd like to go for a level two and, and start getting some improvements on there. So we'll go with that. But the other thing that we're also going to want is the motors. And we're going to need to increase some production for those. So at the moment, a motor, it'll take two of these, the rotors. And it'll take two stators as well. So we've got rotors being made. Let's go over here. Rotors are being made over this way. We've got these being created down here. We've got that stuff being made right there. We've got the iron rods there being made. And then we've got uh, a few other bits. I've got in here, rotors are being made. I don't have anything coming out of there and putting them into storage just yet, which I suppose we could really do with. Uh, we will scramble up here a second and get up on top and up onto here. We've got nothing coming up through. So at the moment, we've kind of reached maximum capacity, but we've reached maximum capacity because of the reinforced plates. We've got modular frames that are being made in here at the moment. I've got 105 modular frames right there being manufactured. And if I take a quick look in here... I need 500 modular frames, but it's also those motors right there. I need 150 motors. And I don't think it's going to be too difficult to get the 150 motors. I think that's actually going to be something that we will be able to cope with fairly easily. But in order to be able to do that, I want to bring this out of here. So I'm thinking if we work on those first, I want to bring rotors... And I want to bring the stators out. Oh, no, not those. The, the stators are coming out of that one right there. I've got 22 in there at the moment. Do I want those stators being used for anything other than the, the big motors? Don't think I do. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to put one of those storage containers down here, I think. If we put one of those in. So we'll, we'll just go with the storage container right here for a second. And... We'll line that one up. Counter four. Oh, yeah. Wait. My bad. Um, we'll line that one up. And we'll put that one there. And then the rotors, I'm going to bring those out. And I'm not sure where we're going to put the conveyor belt for it. Or where we're going to put a storage facility for it either. Uh, I'll grab 100 rods a second. And I'll go back in here and grab another 
couple stacks. Right, there's plenty of those. So I'm thinking I want to come out and I want to go on here with that one. And I want to put that out like that. So I can go there and then I can put a conveyor belt. It'll come straight out. Straight up onto there like that. So that'll then go over the top of this conveyor belt and we shouldn't have any issues with it. I can bring it back down to this level here. Nice and straight like that. And then if I want to if I want to move it around afterwards, I can move it around afterwards without too much difficulty. Um, you know, I'm thinking I should get rid of this. I'm thinking I should I, I'm, I'm going to remove this one. I don't want it here. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We don't want that there for a second. No, what I actually want is I want some of these. I'll put that up there. Because then I can have conveyor belts going underneath and stack them up under there. So, I may even go... I'll, st I'll stack this up. We'll, we'll go too high on this. Like that. And then I'll put another one over this side. And we'll put that directly in line. Like that, and that one's going to come out to there, like that. With another one up on top. And then we will go from this side over here. I'll just take a normal conveyor belt. I'm not going to go for a faster conveyor belt. And I'm going to dump that one up onto there. And then I'm going to take the conveyor belt from there and put it up onto there. I do have a wire in the way, which I don't particularly like. And then I will go to a number eight, and we will bring that one over to here, like that. And I will take a three, and I will go from there to there, like that. So that will then go up, over, and come down, and it's not touching the wire. That's good. And then I want the stuff coming out of here. So let's go, let's go, uh, yeah, that is the one that I want. I'm going to go into production, and I want to take an assembler. I need some more frames. I want two more frames. So I will go over this way, and I will make two frames. And then I can make another assembler, and we can start assembling the motors. Modular frame right there. I want two of these. One, two. That'll do for a minute. And then we can come racing back through this way. So I'm not going to put either of these two. Actually, I am. I am going to put this into storage. I'm going to put these rotors into storage. And I'm going to do that right here. So I'm going to go down here on the pole right there with uh, that one. Like that. And then I'll go you down onto there like that. And then from there, I will get a storage container. And I'll do it like that. So I want that storage container to go... I actually want it to go onto that conveyor belt. So to line it up with that conveyor belt, where are we? We're... It's too far over. That's lined up with the conveyor belt there. Oh, iron plates. Okay, let me go and get some iron plates, and then we will come back, and we will put that one together. I'll take 300 iron plates out of there, and then I will come back over this way, bounce my way back through. So there is our rotors going up. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.